Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Wow. We have here on the show Miss Jaisal Josh. <laughs> How is everything about you? It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> did you put your foot on your mic? Where's your mic? Okay. <laughs> so okay, um, <laughs> let's start the show by catching up with Josh. <laughs> Josh is a former reporter of the <laughs> Goldwater. <laughs> and yeah, how's everything about you, Josh? And are we going Nothing to see you all the <laughs> time here at the gold water <laughs> what did she say she said new. nothing changed she's nothing still changed. pretty yeah. still pretty <laughs> of course <laughs> okay so um hello to the people watching the stream today and um okay also we have Philip Fairbanks. As usual, as and always. And uh, what is uh, your um, talking points today? What things do you want to talk about? Well, I think we, we definitely need to mention, um, you know, the some of the midterms fallout. Like, uh, we've got Arizona oh, wow. and Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, questions are, you know, questions regarding, you know, uh, vote count and things like that. Uh course it's veterans day weekend or just it uh, veterans day weekend just ended oh yeah happy, uh, happy so veterans day yeah it, uh, absolutely is that how they say it mm -hmm. i think that was yeah. yesterday or today is it yeah yesterday? it was well let's see um u.s time it would be yesterday today it's the 13th but in the u.s it's still so. the 12th so 11 11 november 11th was armistice day in world war one that was mm -hmm. the uh, 11 11 1922 the war or the war ended so uh so that's why we celebrate veterans day then so yeah we definitely want to happy veterans honor day. honor all our veterans anybody yeah. who's yeah. you know <laughs> uh offered offered their service because you know that's that's how we've preserved our freedoms you know the freedom that's very hard to get mm -hmm. right now, especially freedom of speech oh yeah we're mostly of free but we can't say anything that we want to say <laughs> right, because of the yeah, yeah. people that get uh, offended uh, very easily. Speaking of freedom of speech, I'll segue into one of the stories I did this weekend about the uh, this comedian called Random. Uh, random? It's funny. Did you see the comments on that? This guy. His name is Random. Uh, he, that's what he goes by. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, his like stage the name, name is Random. Our show. Yeah. All oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. It's funny, but yeah. So he's like an anti SJW edge lord comedian. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one point he made a joke. Uh, you remember the Parkland shooting, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he was saying, well, you know, first off, uh, the the Emma Gonzalez. And David Hogg, it's a well-known fact that they bullied this kid for years. So mm -hmm. if they really wanted to make a difference, forget gun control. Maybe they should have not picked on him and turned him into a school shooter. Number two, you mentioned that uh, you know the the kid had gone on YouTube and said, "I want to be a professional school shooter." And his response <laughs> oh was, "Oh my God, that's going to be like a <laughs> right. profession now." Yeah, yeah. Well, his shooting response people. was. Okay, and number one. in the school? Yeah, number one, if you want to be a professional, I mean, somebody's got to pay you for it. And the yeah. thing about being a professional school shooter is there's just not much of a market. We don't that. encourage shooters. Oh, absolutely not. We this don't. is what's the thing, though. That's obviously a joke, right? Yeah. You know, so yeah, uh, there's not much of a market for professional school shooters. But since this guy, like, rags on feminism and SJWs and political correctness, there's people who really hate him. They tipped off the FBI, two FBI agents, an ATF agent, and a police officer knock on his door. We had somebody commenting saying, well, you know, it, I, I would rather somebody like that be visited by, by the FBI than we have another Parkland. I'm sorry, but when a comedian is making a joke on stage that's not anywhere near a threat, Mm -hmm. He didn't say he wanted to hurt anyone. He was saying that it's a dumb idea to even say you're a professional school shooter. So, like, it, it, well, you know, I, uh, I noticed that one of our anonymous commenters mm -hmm. chimed in saying, and, and I fully agree with this sentiment. Which article is that? Is um, Edgelord, uh, anti-SJW comedian. Is here it? we go. This guy right oh, here. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I can't remember exactly what they said. Something along the, here. Let me just 
run down here, see what they said. But yeah, no, I, I completely uh, stand by these sentiments. Um, I believe that the federal agents should just visit your house for making jokes. Why don't you just go to China or somewhere else where they have a police state and no freedom of speech? We live in America here, and in America there's a reason that the First Amendment, the First Amendment to the Bill of Rights guarantees freedom of speech and expression. If you don't like our freedoms, and I've said the same thing myself many times, if you don't like our freedoms, that's fine. You know, throw throw a dart in a map, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you'll run into a country with with less freedoms in the U.S. Just just go there. Go mm -hmm, to Canada. Mm -hmm. Canada doesn't have a lot of the freedoms that U.S. has. They're mostly free. Yeah, they. Europe's mostly free, but in the U.K. It's, I think it's fun to go to Canada at this time. Oh uh, yeah. Because of the you know <laughs> the new law. You can smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, will I admit never. It. Did that though. I will admit that I, I experimented never, with I never marijuana. had. When I was younger, I experimented with marijuana. It took me years to get it right though. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. I finally, okay, that's how you do it. Yeah. But yeah, no, this this guy I think is pretty funny. He's uh he's definitely edgy, uh, but absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Not only uh then after the FBI comes to his door, then he's at another open mic, and um, <coughs> uh, it was a very small <laughs> crowd, and there's some feminists that are sitting at a table, and they start calling him, you know, you th you're just this white, cisgendered, heterosexual male, what do you know, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 and um, he just goes totally Bill Hicks on him. Bill Hicks is one of my favorite comedians, and uh, when when... The way he dealt with hecklers, some different comedians deal with heckler, hecklers in different ways. And Bill Hicks and Random, uh, I love to see them. Random. Yeah, I love to see the way that they deal with a, a comedian or, or with a heckler as a comedian yeah. because they just, you know, just blast them. Dingle says, know? Random needs to book Random on the Random show. <laughs> to be you know what? I We should <laughs> mention that. Random. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> that would be that would yeah. be pretty random, yeah. Would be nice to probably interview the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll mention it to him. I'm sure he, uh, uh, I'm sure he might be interested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, I got a chance to interview him over the weekend, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, uh, I like the kid, and I really do. You know, I hope to see, I hope to see him really succeed. Honestly, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what else happened on the gold? What the? I stumbled when I wake up um, this morning with this article. Wisconsin police investigating photo of high school class <laughs> Sig Heil. You know, this is and what happens. This article with was correctness. written by yeah. Brad Pearl, and she's like, "Where's the crime? Where is the crime? Is right. there really a crime? Yeah. If I just be." Now there is in Germany. Speaking of countries if that don't have as many are in Germany, rights as us, in Germany, if you do this, don't you do can that. go to jail. <laughs> if you've got a, if you carry a swastika armband, you can go to jail. I'll tell you what. You know? swastika signs are like everywhere in the Philippines. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I actually saw before yeah. I moved here. They are in motorcycles in yeah, Disney. Yeah, like a they jeep. Are, and it was they hilarious. They come you in know? the form of stickers. To be fair, though, the swastika is an ancient Asian symbol. It was long before the Nazis. It was a Buddhist symbol. It, it was is a, a Buddhist symbol. symbol. You know? Yeah. Do you know that Native Americans, like, there's a lot of uh, Western memorabilia from the old Wild West days yeah. because cowboys picked up, you know, picked up some of the stuff the Native Americans did, and, and they used the... Because the, the, a lot of the Native Americans, mm -hmm. how did they get there? They came from Asia, yeah. you know, thousands of years ago. So, you know, they, they brought some of the same symbols and things. And uh, after the whole, uh, you know, World War II, there was, there was a big move to, like, burn. I once saw an old, old Western book from the early 1900s. It was cowboy sto a cowboy story, and it had a swastika on it. This is before Hitler. So it had nothing to do with the Nazis. But yeah, because people are ignorant, yeah, the they call it the Nazi salute. No, that is the Roman salute. Guess what? In the 1930s in the U.S., when people, we didn't used to pledge allegiance by putting our hand over our heart, they would do this because that's what the Romans did. 
You know, oh, by the way, I'm sure somebody just screenshotted that, and now I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, about to say that one of my uh, dance moves in there was the... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get the parts <laughs> You, know, get get the one thing you gotta say about both the Nazis and the communists. But I was done partying. They definitely so know how to that was like party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do in the club. They raise <laughs> their hands, some like both hands. Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, Saturday Night Fever move, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of the Nazi salutes, we had another recent story with that. The. Uh, Wisconsin hmm. professor. Oh yeah. And we, this is this is <laughs> funny. It's not every day that the Anti Defamation League, the Jewish ADL, comes out and says, "Now hold on, guys, he's not a Nazi." He's not a Nazi. Just because he's giving a Nazi salute. What happened was, you know, I had to read through the whole thing, and mm -hmm. I'm sitting here going, "Why? Why would this idiot?" They said he did it for ten minutes. He's holding up the, and I'm like, "Why would this idiot do that? He knows he's going to lose his job." You know. It, especially in the super politically correct uh, climate of, of universities. No, what happened is he was protesting the fact that they were gonna put all the the all the departments under one head instead of having you know each department uh, run themselves, and so he was basically calling them Nazis. Now, it's it's a damn shame that we live in a world where if you call someone a Nazi, did you call them a Nazi? That makes you a Nazi, you know? No, that's absolutely stupid. As for the as for the students, I almost guarantee those kids were trolling. Yeah. They're, they they <laughs> don't want to go out and kill the Jews. They were trolling, and and the reason why there's so much trolling of this nature is because it gets under people's skin. We live in a world where uh, people throw coffee on you and call you a Nazi for disagreeing with them. Some right. people believe anybody that disagrees with them is a Nazi. And so people are like, well, you know what? I got an idea. Let's act like we're really Nazis and see what they do then. If they go crazy over us voting for a Republican, you know, let's pretend to be Nazis. Nazis. Let's start carrying Nazis. swastikas and see what happens. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember an article that we published in the Gold Wire. Um, there's an American who hanged Mm -hmm. In America. Yeah, and then yeah. He got his neighbor called. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then he got arrested because his neighbor called the police. I remember my mom saying how, like, uh, what was it? We we know someone who, uh, uh, somebody that we both know had mentioned mm -hmm. on Facebook that, uh, what is it, that she pulled a Republican, like her neighbor had a sign for a Republican candidate and she pulled it out of their yard. How entitled. You know, it's not your property. Don't mess with it. Like, m what my mom said was, you know, if my neighbor had a Nazi flag in their yard, I'm not going to go next door and mess with their property. Yeah. And in fact, if they if their car broke down and they needed me to jump it off, you can I'd still them. jump it off. You know? Yeah. Y you don't have to be a jerk. You know, that's... <laughs> I, can, I can tell you about something like being complimented. Mm. She's just, whoa, me too. Right, yeah, Hashtag absolutely. Me too. When you don't yeah. say anything, she's just going to be subtle. <laughs> That's one thing I like about being in the Philippines. There's not that heightened oh, okay. political correctness. We have uh, people on the chat. Let me make that next. He's like, what am I watching? Oh, hey, hey. Okay, I'm Diana, yeah. and this is uh, Philip and Fairbanks, Phil. and this is Jazz. We are the Goldwater, and we are having uh, Nothing to de Declare show, and slash we're, we're podcast, uh, and then we are just talking about everything we can talk about. We're, we're the 8 yeah. sister site, technically, yeah. Yeah. These people probably comes from 8 mm -hmm. that's why. They're like, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, welcome in the Nothing to Declare show. So, okay. Where were we? So, yeah, I remember I went to Hong Kong. And then I went to that Buddhist temple. And then I was like, there's like a fence. I 
can hear. <laughs> Guys, I can hear your feedback. <laughs> so I remember like uh, the metal fences are like made out and shaped like a swastika sign. And I yeah. took a picture and I'm like, this doesn't look right, but it's very interesting. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's very it's interesting. An, it's an ancient symbol yeah. that that never had anything to do with racism until mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. 1933, you know? And so I think it's, it's, uh, it's intellectually uh, dishonest to pretend that something is what it's not. I think That's racism is always there. It's part of everyone's life. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how you deal with it. In a lot of ways, it's it's yeah. it's evolution. It's you every know? time in my past um, um, trip, I we were kind of I don't know what the term could be. It's like people are like prejudiced, and we are on a bar. You know, it's it's a rooftop bar, and we were sitting there because we would want to see the skyline of the place. And then it happens that we're unfortunate because it's raining. And we can't go on the rooftop. We were just like hanging out in like the inside bar. And then the waiter says, you have to pay your bill now and please go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. Because we're Filipinos, people are like thinking we don't have money to pay our bills. Ouch. And I was like, wow, that's so rude. Super rude. But really, it, you, can, you can just say, we, we told them, hey, we have money to pay. And... We would want to see the view upstairs. Yeah, That's really. why we're here. We paid our ticket. It's expensive. We have to see the place. <laughs> but I mean, then honestly, I've had that happen to me before. I went to a really nice bar in <coughs> Houston. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes people judge you based on your appearance. Uh, I, I call I it racist. By yeah. Way. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah, racism. yeah. Absolutely. Racism. That guy is super racist. And, and there's a difference between... Now, what's not racist is... Uh, you know, it's natural to put your family first, put your nation first, put your, you know what I mean? To put mm -hmm. your culture first. There yeah. is nothing wrong with that. Because mm -hmm. if you don't put your culture and your family and your nation first, nobody's going to do it for you. You know, people have to look out, af yeah. out after their own interests. That's, mm -hmm. you know. I just told them, I just told the, um, the waiter that he is rude. Mm -hmm. And then I, I told him, like, yeah, we have money. We can pay you. Please don't do this. Wow. And then we left. Anyway, yeah, that was yeah, so absolutely. rude. But, yeah, as what I've said, um, you just need to, you know, deal with it. Mm. And uh, y that's, that's, a, that's an ironic thing. That, mm. uh, that's a thing that's kind of ironic to me. Okay, so America's this horrible racist nation it's so terrible so then why does everybody want to come here then and why you know? does every why does filipino wants to come in america because <laughs> it's the land of opportunity yeah and you know what's funny i mean okay i i have to be honest i would want to see america someday i would want to go to your new york because All it's right. the fashion capital <laughs> of america yeah and then but yeah I think people in, in America is more complex and more, I don't know, like, um, people get offended easily. Oh, yes. And yeah. that's what you, you're you saying. They are, like, racist. And I love it when people, I love it, like, here, people have asked me, you know, uh, where are you from? What, you know, uh, what race are you? you yeah. Know, are you part Filipino? They're, like, more and welcoming. I'm like, it's. Filipinos are, like, super welcome. In the U.S., if you ask somebody, so where where are you originally from? Where is your, your family from? Well, I'm from Wisconsin. I'm from Idaho. You know, and they get really angry if, mm. if they look obviously, you know, Indian or Asian or, you know, uh, whatever. If they have an accent or something. Yeah. That's, that's showing interest. Why would showing interest in someone else's race and culture be considered racist that's stupid uh also cultural appropriation i hate that also it's my first you know, time to go in it's, a, it's appreciation it's my <laughs> first time to go in a somehow muslim country oh really and my experience? oh that's right you just got back from malaysia what was yeah, that yeah. like oh my you god did, you didn't hold hands with any girls did you obviously everyone not. You're was still covered alive. like my first day <laughs> rooming around in that place is I'm like I'm wearing shorts and, and just a shirt oh my a gosh, crop top yeah. 
my my belly button is showing. <laughs> and then the next day I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wear this. Where's my pants? [laughs] And my sweatshirt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember we did a story once where Malaysia had uh made a list of I got booed this day, yeah. Signs somebody was gay. Oh. And they were it was some of the stupidest thing. Well, if the guy goes to gyms and has a mustache. Woah, 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 y'all. Woah. [laughs] [laughs] Like, and and this is a country where sometimes people get beat up or killed for being gay. Yeah. Yeah. And then they've got the stupidest the stupidest, well, you know, here's how you tell if someone's gay. No. No, that is not how you tell if someone's gay. [laughs] [noise] But yeah, it's very interesting to see places. And uh being in in a Muslim country, I once remember that I we I have to pee. And we saw, we were like, having a road trip. And we saw this mosque. And then our tour guide says, "Hey, we need to stop here, take pictures, blah, blah, blah." And we're like, "Oh, okay." [laughs] And then, "Hey, I have to pee." You can go inside the mosque. And I was like, "Really? But you have to cover your face." Oh. I was like "Maybe no." [laughs] [laughs] Yeah, no. [laughs] [laughs] It's like, "Maybe no." And maybe we can just find a Starbucks. Or like a gasoline station." But yeah, we didn't pee. [laughs] Wow, yeah. But yeah, it's very interesting to see that. And experience that. I'd like to visit Indonesia, cuz I know some Indonesians uh, in the Kraken world, and I'd like to Oh. You know, I've talked to some people there who said they'd be down to be interviewed, even take me out to the old growth kraken trees in the jungle. And so one day I've gotta do that. Oh, really. Have you had like a An adventure of you have to find a kraken tree? No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can make a documentary where we can find the kraken um tree in the Philippines. Tabitha, mumbug. Really? Yeah, mumbug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. [laughs] Jasmine's acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. [laughs] Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, "I don't have anything to say in this show. I'm gonna act." Okay, screw it. Over there. No, it's me. [laughs] [laughs] Oh, man. [laughs] Okay, we are like taking over the show. Jasmine, you want to Let's just hope, let's just hope we don't scare off the audience like we did uh, uh Jane's mom. [laughs] No, yeah, we scare her off. [noise] What? And then just sitting behind the camera. And then just, like, going, like this. Uh. Like, I don't know. Something, something. [noise] Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Or like, "Oh, guys, look at us." Or something like that. [laughs] Can't wait till it happens. [laughs] I know. I really want it to happen. Oh, god. Yeah, this is what I think about when I have a migraine. [laughs] That's what I think about. [laughs] Yeah. Mhm. Also, if you get migraines from watching TV, you might as well turn the TV off. Cuz it's so bad. Oh, no. Cuz it makes you actually want to watch TV. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think about it, and then I'm like, oh, we should stop doing this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. [laughs] Yeah. Hmm. Overwatching. [noise] Okay, I know what you guys wanna do. Oh. Cuz you have sharp knives and you're obsessed? Okay, sharp knives. Sure. Is what you guys want. Good. Eat. Eat Cheese Naan. Okay, I think we can all eat together. [laughs] [noise] Yeah, yeah, [inaudible 1:35:03.90] [noise] Around the world Really? Yeah, I think so. What do you guys think, like, um Probably gonna be Indian food. [laughs] Yeah, like Pizza, probably. [laughs] Let's start with three. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Do you want some Jim Beam? Um, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, actually I'll have one. I'll have one too. I'll have one too. I think that's like half, right? Yeah, I think it's too, oh maybe it's too, maybe it's too thin to braid. I'm almost done, actually. One second. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just like, the other one was working fine but this one's like, woah, that's not gonna, anything. Yeah. I mean, let's, yeah. Okay. All in? All in. Good. Okay, let's make salad. Okay, we can make salad. Salad. I think we all know what salads are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with salad. Okay. I think all of us can eat together. Uh, not yet. I'm pretty I'm picky. I can't eat salad like that. [laughs] Yeah. You can do it. You can pick and choose. I think we can, yeah. Yeah, we can actually eat the whole thing. [laughs] Yeah. [noise] Where are the plates? Um, over there? No, like around there. Maybe we can like sit around them and talk about what kind of salad we want. Potentially. Mhm. Yeah, and then what kind of salad, like. Um, we can even like save some of this sauce. If you wanna. Yeah. Yeah, let's do some sort of salad and then talk about what you think and rate the salad. [noise] Oh, god, yeah, finally. Yeah. Salad dressing? Hey, I finished my salad. You finished your salad? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I need so much food. [laughs] [laughs] [noise] Do you think that's enough food? Yeah, should be fine. Yeah. Should be fine. Are we gonna, are we gonna eat the whole thing? That's really good. Probably. Like, you said you wanted to have salad first. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll have salad. Just skip it. Should I skip the fish? No. Yeah, you s- yeah, you should skip the fish. Um, I guess I'll have some shrimp. Okay. Were you gonna scare off any other fishes? Ah, you're ridiculous. [laughs] Okay, I'll just gonna, I'll just gonna keel over. I'm actually gonna kill one. [laughs] Yeah, the cormorants are over there. I'm not gonna cormorant you. Oh, you're not gonna cormorant me, are you? [laughs] No, cuz you know how to fly. Yeah, I could fly. I just wanna put you in jail. Just kidding. [laughs] Okay, I would put, I'll put my Pickle Rick gun, where's my Pickle Rick gun? Right here. Okay. Yeah, that's not safe. Um. Where is my Pickle Rick gun? Right there. [noise] Oh, crap. [noise] Actually I'm gonna use the house rules. Since since you're the sheriff, since you're the sheriff, why do you get to have this gun? What is this gun? [laughs] Is this your gun? Um, can I be a sheriff? Yep. Why are you asking? Oh, sorry. [laughs] [noise] Um, can I be a sheriff? Sure, go ahead. Nope. [laughs] [laughs] Nope. [laughs] I don't think that's safe. [noise] That's pretty good. Uh, no one said that, so you can't take that away. [laughs] But yeah, 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 you're the sheriff, so you can't have a gun. What was that? It was um, Indian Tire? Indian Tire? Yeah, it's gonna be blue. It's gonna be Indian Tire. Blue tire, blue tire. Oh, yeah. You're gonna need a lot of tires. I have enough tires on my side. You mean you have two tires? [laughs] Yeah, okay. Your turn, your turn. Oh, it's my turn? Oh, okay. What are you doing? Uh, is he parked you up there? Yeah, he is. Um, I think he's parked me in the back. Oh, he is? Oh, he is. Sorry. Ooh, sorry. [laughs] [laughs] Um, yeah, this is really confusing. I I haven't gone yet. You should be. You should be. So you can probably just go. Not yet. Almost there. Should be almost there. [laughs] Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the house rules. I'm gonna use But then I'll get this car. You should probably let him go at that. Your turn. I can't let him go. Uh, because I can still drive. Oh, you can still drive. Mhm. You can still drive. Mm, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Who's driving tomorrow? [laughs] Uh, me. Why would you do that? Uh, Thomas. Bang. On the brakes. [laughs] Don't even think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna steal a car? Watch him drive. Uh, I don't know if I have the cash to do that. Doesn't matter. I'd still like a driver's license. [laughs] Why? Because it's my car. Yeah, but the cash isn't the problem. Oh, wait,
because oh, he's got... Oh, you are going to his area in mm-hmm. Nagano. Mm-hmm. And he's Nate got... Mira- Miranda is an artist. Yeah, yeah. And a painter? Uh-huh, uh, architect, painter. Mm. Uh, he's got the Nate Miranda Art House and Gallery and the Atelier uh, Ristorante. And um, I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to interview him because I he's got a show open. I hope you have a time. Maybe you can get a hold of him. Oh, I, I dropped him a line, but Saturday... So I'm coming down Thursday, and I'm leaving on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And Thursday and Friday, he will be getting ready for his show opening on Saturday. Ooh. So I'm sure that I'll at least run into him, but I don't yeah. know if I'll get a chance to interview him. The folks at the gallery, though, said that they, they'll Make definitely blog about have it. time to. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But we've got to go back because I'm not as good with a camera as you. Yeah. So next time, next time you'll have to accompany me, and we'll have to go back yeah. to we can probably so go in much, that create some adventure. You know, That's so much uh, you know, art and culture in Angano. There's the 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 Kratom trees and uh, uh, the the folks I know that deal with Kratom here uh, uh, in in the Philippines. Yeah, you know. Okay, absolutely. speaking of blog, I have a new blog. Um, maybe we oh, can I show people. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah. Yeah, we can show the people. Trip? No, it's my Hong Kong trip. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It's my second time to go in Hong Kong, and I went with a friend. Maybe we can show them. So we can have a mini break. And so people can, you know, see what I did there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You have to find the link. Yeah, we can show this, right? We can play it. So before we're getting ready, um, you know, I'm I cleaning the gold water today. Stan Lee has died today. Yeah, Marvel. yeah, that's really sad. You know, it's funny. Um, I had a lot of a lot of personal stuff going on lately, mm-hmm. and it's Did funny. Did you say you have lots of personal stuff? A lot of personal stuff going on, and what's we funny is we have to make a segment to, for uh, that in the gold water. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, deep in the gold water. I had a uh, you know my uh, my great second cousin. Who was, this is, this is so ironic, he's a veteran and he died on Veterans Day. And so I did, I did do a sort of memorial for him. But yeah, no, um, uh, I, I actually bought a big, thick, uh, collection of early 1980s Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah. And because it's like, it's oddly comforting mm-hmm. because Peter Parker I can still identify him cuz he's juggling 15 different lives you know oh he's a God, student a teacher uh, a superhero uh, trying to juggle a personal life yeah. at the same time like every time he tries to do something good there's always negative consequences blah 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 yeah yeah but I, yeah. yeah i guess the oh what's that <laughs> <laughs> wait long <laughs> Have you heard the word outside wait long to the, uh-huh, from just, the Philippines? Yeah, just wait. <laughs> yeah, wait long, that means just wait. Okay, I think the vlog is almost ready. So, I hope you guys have fun watching it. Hold on, it's still preparing. <laughs> Looks like it's already flying. <laughs> it's my first time to ride in the... I know it's kind of funny, but it's my first time to ride in a Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah? Seriously. And I was like, I got anxiety. Things that gives me anxiety. Oh, really? Very real. I think it's really nice. I hope you guys have Hong Kong is the first country I get to travel with. It was June last year when I first seen it. One thing that struck me is the tall buildings. I was amazed on how tall the buildings can be. Last year, I've been to the Kowloon area but this year, I get to explore the Hong Kong side. I've got two days to room around Hong Kong. Yes, two days. I'm traveling with Ruby and her husband, Alan, whom we were meeting in Hong Kong. Our flight came a little early before Alan's, so we waited for a bit and hanged out in the airport. <laughs> Lunch. 
lunch after the what happened? taxi driver. What happened to the taxi driver? <laughs> after the taxi driver, excuse my word. <laughs> we got scammed. We paid. How much is that? Four hundred ninety-one dollars. And he gave me ten, ten, ten dollars yeah, change. Yeah, still short. So it's not cool. Don't do that. Mm. <laughs> so after arriving in the hotel, I changed clothes and then we headed outside. We took the tram. It's like an old-fashioned train system where you can see oh, all the sleeping room. Just hang on tight because most of the seats are taken and you gotta stand up. Oh, actually, the V has a friend here, Michelle. Michelle is working here for more than five years now, and we're lucky she's showing us places, and we won't waste time getting lost. So the first place we've been is the Nan Leon Garden. It is a Chinese classical garden in Diamond Hill, Hong Kong. Wow! This place is serene and there's a pottery inside it. Beautiful! And I saw tons of Filipinos, my kababayans! Namlian Garden is designed in the Tang Dynasty style with hills, water features, trees, rocks, and wooden structures. The garden was a joint project of the Chi Lin Nunnery and the Hong Kong government. speaker I thought it's uh, a real human is playing something an instrument but it's just a speaker so yeah toilet who needs toilet this one is toilet <laughs> After the fun walk inside the Nanlian Garden, we head back to our hotel. The main transportation people use in Hong Kong is the MTR. It's like the MRT in the Philippines, but the faster one and the organized one. We were so hungry and we couldn't find a place to get a food and shopping is not on the list. So we hold ourselves together and didn't shop. We thought everything is so expensive. Finish it because it's so strong. Do my level English 
And we're heading now to have a dinner with this couple. Ew, PDA! Ew. PDA. PDA. <laughs> Strict diet, and we are in a Mexican. I'm drunk. Mexican restaurant. <laughs> oh my god. They have cactus salad. She's eating a cactus salad. Is it really cactus? With the spikes on it. How much cactus do you I don't know. You can taste it. This is avocado. This one is for you. This is a lot. I'm not a big eater. Alan, share. I went home early though because I feel tired and then I just enjoyed my room. Good morning. <laughs> um, I have two beds by the way. This is not the room that I ordered but they give me this but I'm not gonna even complain. And I don't know where to have my breakfast maybe. At the hotel restaurant, or I'm gonna go outside to eat noodles. I don't know why. Maybe I can ask Ruby. Oh, what's Here. that? Can you mix mine? Sure, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Jollibee. <laughs> We are in Tunchung Station and we are heading to the B Buddha. We are going to ride on a bus. We plan to go to the Big Buddha. It is a large bronze statue of Buddha Shakyamuni, completed in 1993 and located at Ngong Ping, Lantau Island in Hong Kong. The statue is sited near Po Lin Monastery and symbolizes the harmonious relationship between man and nature, people, and fate. Mm-hmm. 
sabay mo yan. Tomorrow is our last day, so we better get going and see more places. We've decided to take the ferry to go to the Kowloon side, and then we've seen a light show. There are so many people and the lights, the bay, the skyline is super beautiful. The first thing I thought of when I see these things is my family. I wish I can bring all of them with me. Now back onto the ferry and onto the ferry's wheel. To be honest, I've never rode one. So I'm a little scared and nervous. It went five times rotating and I really really wanted to stop. You are on the top, the view is just super amazing. And all I did is just to enjoy it. We are going home! <laughs> bye bye, fairy thrill! I got a little. <laughs> That's my second time in Hong Kong, and yeah, it's it's fun. I would love to go there, and I think if I'm gonna go back to Hong Kong, I would want to try the hiking mm. part. Yeah, urban hiking. Huh? What is that? Urban hiking. Urban hiking. When I said urban hiking, it's in the city, right? Yeah. We're gonna go on every um, high buildings there, and you can climb. Oh, really? So it's sort of almost like parkour. 
But I'm not. I don't know. I'm just gonna probably just go, "Oh, yeah, I'm in the job." [laughs] And that, do nothing. And like, holding myself on a [laughs] on a concrete [laughs] But, yeah. Urban in rural Haiti. Um, what else? I haven't been to the um, what is that, Disneyland I haven't been there because I was thinking I can bring my niece and my nephews over there, which I don't go. [laughs] So, anyway. I think my next vlog is in Malaysia. And guys, please do subscribe in my channel. Youtube channel and Twitch channel. And I'm gonna upload another video soon. [laughs] [laughs] Anyways, back on the topic. [laughs] Back on the topic. [noise] So, we've talked about Stanley being dead. Yep. And how old is he? Like ninety five percent? [laughs] He was ninety five, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, his, his wife died, his wife was like ninety two or ninety three and he died either earlier this year or like last year. Like super old. He's like super old, yeah. But there are like some There are some controversy behind it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like we'll go ahead and get into that after the break. Yeah, yeah. Stanley um well I guess my b- I guess my two cents would be like He stole ideas. Jack Kirby, you know, Stanley died a multimillionaire. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mhm. Right. Hi, this is Stan [laughs] 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 Do I really sound like that? Oh, my god. [laughs] Yes, you do. I'm just gonna shut up now. [laughs] Stanley, I'm so sorry. We have your spirit. Stanley, you're the worst. He's the ghost of Stanley. Like, arrgh! And I wanna hear it. You wanna hear it? I wanna hear you talk about Jack Kirby. Stanley. Oh, my god. Yes. [laughs] That's what I'm talkin' about. [inaudible 0:52:40.58] [laughs] Jack Kirby was sort of a partner uh to Stanley but uh a lot of people, and myself included Mhm. believe that Kirby didn't get a fair shake. Uh Stanley likely I guess you could say, you know I hate to say, I hate to say this when the guy's not even on the ground yet but he did. He sorta took advantage. He took advantage of Kirby. Yep. Yeah. And that's a shame. Uh, that said, you know people are complex and there's no such thing as a good person. Yeah. People are people are very complex. Yeah. There are people who do good things. Yeah. And there are, you know, people who try to do good things and people who do good things but everybody everybody's Yeah. crappy sometimes. Yeah, you you really can't, you know, you can't really know what people's thinking. Like, uh people's actions kind of reflect what you think. Yeah. Everybody's got their own little uh I think if you don't have control over things, just move on and don't control things. Yeah. Yeah. [laughs] Yeah. It's a good rule of thumb. [noise] Okay, so what else? Oh, and the game started. Any live news that we have on the uh site? Alex Baldwin, the voice of the Delta Sixteen, is back. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard that one. This is not the first time that this jerk This is uh, Trump um what's [inaudible 0:53:56.16] No, right? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. The reason why he uh is so anti Trump, I believe, is because most of the things Okay, uh being a bad father being sexist and racist Trump is not actually bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, being homophobic. These are all things that Trump's been accused of and that Alec Baldwin is. It's Also, he you know that he called he called a reporter uh a black reporter. He called him the n word. Oh, whatever. [laughs] Which is just hilarious. Me. And uh he's assaulted reporters before. Like, he's a real piece of work. Like [inaudible 0:54:42.51] [laughs] Oh. So it's like, oh, he's like uh well he's like one of those guys who's like uh like he was saying that he, uh, there's no excuses for him. Like, there's no reason to hate that guy. Yeah. But it's like Trump also like calling him out on it. Like, you're an asshole. [laughs] Like, that's why he's like, he's like, it's not that he's like doing it to get people to like Yeah. It's that he's also like being a douchebag and like being a dick. Yeah. All these things. It's like, it's like Trump being like uh like you know, he's always calling people out and like doing these things to people. Why is that funny? Eh? It's kind of funny. [laughs] No, it's like It's really funny. [laughs] [laughs] It's kind of like, you're trying to be like hip to it? He's like, "Hey, you know, you can call me out on my bullshit." Like, but the other guy's like, "You're being a douchebag" [laughs] [laughs] Oh my god. [laughs] [inaudible 0:55:10.61] I'm just like, "Dude, like come on." [laughs] I know. I'm just like saying. Like, people kinda like Cuz especially, like, when you're a white guy, your face is so white. Yeah. Yeah. You're not like other people. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know? Oh yeah, I guess I could be like that now. Yeah, yeah. Cuz you're white. Yeah, that's what I think. [laughs] [laughs] But yeah, um Yeah. it's funny. Trump always calls people out. Yeah. [laughs] Oh, god. [laughs] I was like, "Oh, is he actually calling you out?" Oh my god. [laughs] 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 It was so funny. It was actually like uh what's his face? [laughs] Um Trump's like, "Woah, woah, woah, time out." Like, you're not allowed to talk about people's feelings. Like, you can't." That guy's like, "That guy's gonna win." [laughs] [laughs] Okay, Susie. Do it. Go, go, go. Susie. Do it. Go. What did she do? Don't worry about it. Susie, sit. She's the biggest person in the office. Susie, sit. [laughs] [laughs] Actually, you know, you guys are the best. [laughs] Susie, sit. She's the most important person in the office. I know. [laughs] [laughs] You guys chose the best. [laughs] Susie, sit. She was the most important person in the office. [laughs] She sat right in front of Dan. All right. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Mhm. Obviously she's gonna win. Girl, girl. Girl, girl. Oh, but she watched you go. [laughs] Yeah, I did. It was it was uh I think it was uh Alec Baldwin. Bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Alec Baldwin. Bad. Mhm. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's uh uh he's a bad father. You know
I love there. There was a clip in there that I put in the last Are article. You just there. That he's a bad. Dad. He's a bad father. Yeah. Um. There was a, his daughter is like nine years old or something at the time, and she was. Uh, yeah, he called a cab driver. Uh, a faggot. Uh, uh, he uh, another guy, a Starbucks server. Uh, he called him an uptight queen. You know, so the guy's obviously homophobic. Uh, he he. Uh, uptight. Queen. This is this is in a phone call to his to his daughter, to his preteen daughter. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig. Thank goodness that his preteen daughter recorded is he this. Or divorced. Yeah, he was divorced. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if he's married now. Mm -hmm. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child. Whoa, 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 whoa. Father of the Year Award to Alec Baldwin, who doesn't know how old his own daughter is. Mm -hmm. What a jerk. Once again, I have made an ass of myself trying to get to the phone. You have humiliated me for the last time with this phone. No, not for the last time, because she recorded it, and it ended up on the internet. Ooh. Beautiful. I'm sorry, I love that. Uh, and, and, you know, as I said in the arc, well, I guess being a rude, thoughtless pig must just run in the family then. But yeah, no, uh, 2012, he assaulted, he, he assaulted a photographer, let's see, Mm -hmm. Uh, he threatened to F up a reporter after James Gandolfini's, uh, funeral. He called for a Republican senator to be stoned to death before going to his home to stone his wife and children. Mm -hmm. Uh, he assaulted a photographer in 2012. Uh, he threatened to assault a photographer in 2013 and called him a toxic queen, more homophobic language. Oh, isn't he a tolerant, loving liberal? No, no, he's just an absolute uh, jerk. He's uh, he was friends with James Toback, one of the serial rapists. You know, a lot of the Me Too movement. It was oh, you know, he he looked at me too long, or he put his hand on my shoulder and it made me uncomfortable. And then there's guys like Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey and James Toback who were actual serial rapists. He was good friends with uh, with James Toback, who was one of the one of the worst. Um, oh wow! Then uh, uh, something to do with let's see, uh, in a movie called Minnie's First Time, uh, he was talking about how what was it? Uh, film deals with a high school senior becomes a sex worker. In the film, her first client is Alec Baldwin, who is her stepfather. And um, in the recent book, he claims that the actress was 17 and that he had no idea of that until the film had been shot. <laughs> Problem is, she was 16. Well, I didn't know she was 17. Well, she wasn't. She was 16, sir. But yeah, absolute dirtbag. He's an absolute dirtbag. So yeah, now, Alec Baldwin assaulted someone? Dot, dot, dot. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's new. Yeah. Based on his personality. But yeah, it's... I haven't assaulted anyone. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's like that I'm wishing I should assault anyone. I, I, have, been, I have been assaulted my fair, my fair share, and let, let's just say it's no assaulted? fun. Oh my gosh. I've been, I've been beat up multiple times. Ooh, no. Yeah. I'm not a violent person, so. What is that? Um, oh my gosh! At least one when time I didn't even know. Uh, the last time it happened was maybe three or four, uh, three years ago or so. And in fact, uh, w one of the about yeah about four years ago was the last time I can recall that I got like seriously assaulted. Like you know, uh, maybe should have gone to a hospital. No. Uh, like I I should have gotten stitches. Yeah. I should have gotten stitches in my head. And then, uh, oh, I've been choked out before a couple of times. There was a... Uh, in school? No, no, this was... Get this. It was a guy who had no place to stay, and so me and my roommate let him uh, crash uh, let him crash in our apartment. Mm. Like, you know, set up a cot in the floor. And it was Father's Day weekend, and 
he's he'd been promising that he would pay us once he got a job, and he'd finally gotten a job. Mm-hmm. And it was Father's Day weekend, and both me and my roommate wanted to get something for our dad, and we yeah, were yeah, yeah. kind of counting on all this money he owed us. Yeah. And, uh, uh, well, anyways, I, I made it very clear that, you know, listen, dude, you're, you're, you're a jerk. You need to pay the money you promised. And uh, he decided that the most appropriate and adult way to deal with that would be to choke me until I lost consciousness. And if you've ever been, like, choked out, there's this scary moment when you come to, and it's like, it starts out with, like, your field of vision coming back, and then, like, wah, 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 yeah, wah. Yeah. And then your eyes are seeing speckles. You're the, the whole, like, seeing stars. Yeah, no, it's like little pinpoints of light. And there's always that first five seconds where you're like, what just happened? Like, it takes you a minute to even realize what went on. Mm-hmm. Now, and that was, that's not the only time that, uh, that something like that has happened. I don't know. Let me just say, uh, sometimes I rub people the wrong way, you know? Uh, That's but crazy. I'm I'm not the kind of person. Don't know that. I'm not the kind. Oh, uh, Jew guess who's oh, here? Oh yeah, Jew I'm not the kind of person who. Oh, you don't like what I'm saying? Well, I'm just gonna do what you tell me to. Yeah, we have five minutes. You can call if you want to call. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and call in. Sir, how are you? <laughs> here, I bro. Uh, yeah. And I was like, sometimes in I was school, like thinking, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna arrive there and like, you guys, stop it. <laughs> you know, it's I'm funny. Like, yeah, in school, in school, anytime that somebody tried to bully me, usually there was somebody who was bigger than me and the bully yeah. who took my side. Like, absolutely. Uh, it was more, it's been more in like the last 15, 20 mm-hmm. years. Oh, no. Time change. He says only five minutes. Uh, I'll bet. We've been here for like an hour. We forget that because of the time change. Yeah, we have. We're we're um, here like an hour early or late. an hour late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like the studio is right there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, maybe you can join us on our next stream. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think there are some girls who, like, uh, you know, just being bullied when I was in high school. But uh, I, I don't know. They just kind of... I think my mom just told them. I was like, you don't do that to my daughter. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, keep uh, deep vlogging. Mm-hmm. So, um, you're going to be on the Revolution Radio? Oh yeah, I have been. Uh, I've been kind of uh, showing up uh, the last the last few weeks somewhat. Yeah, I really do. Uh, really do enjoy. Uh, mm-hmm. Always enjoy hanging out with uh, Doctor True and Burdock. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, can't wait until Redfoot's back. Which yeah. Should be any day he's now. Out in the jail? Is he out? No, no, I don't think he's oh. out yet. But it should be. I think they were going to give him what you call it time served, and it was supposed to be six months. And he'd almost already been in for six months, mm. so it should be any day now that uh, that uh, Alex Studer, aka Redfoot, uh, there's a nice segue into our next uh, our next plug, labvirus.com. Uh, if you want to check out that site, uh, uh, Alex, oh my gosh, he is uh, is frightening how up on some things he is. Like you know, I I, I know a lot of stuff that people don't know about. But I also know when when someone knows most of what I know and a lot more. And when it comes to a lot of this, like, uh, what some people call tinfoil hat territory, mm-hmm. uh, there's a lot of conspiracies that aren't theories. But, yeah, if you want to dig into some of that stuff, that's labvirus.com. Mm, okay. Uh, anyways, thanks for the people who um, hang out with us on the stream. And do uh, like our show and subscribe in our Twitch channel next week. Um, I think Burdock is gonna be overseas and we will have mm-hmm. some other guys, but definitely, definitely will be here with um, Sister Lab. I can't see yep. what's happening. 
Until next time. Until next time. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Drew Gasser. Thanks, Jingle.